Welcome to Kensington Palace, where we've got on a special exhibition at the costumes from the Golden Globe winning film, The Favourite. The Queen is an extraordinary person. They were all staring, weren't they? I can tell even if I can't see, and I heard the word fat, fat Anne. and ugly. It tells the story of Queen Anne, which in real life unfolded here at Kensington. She'd have recognised this room, and particularly the formal gardens outside that she was responsible for setting out. Now, if you've seen the film, you might be thinking, surely the Queen's grotesque ill health is overplayed. Well, not so. This is a description by somebody who came and met her here at Kensington. He said that her face was red and spotted. She looked frightful. Her gouty foot was tied up in some nasty bandages. She was in extreme pain and agony. One of the key things about Queen Anne is that her health had been destroyed by 17 pregnancies. She's a tragic figure and in many ways a forgotten figure. So it's great that she's having her moment in the spotlight. You certainly couldn't describe the film as slavishly historically accurate. It's taken the past and done a sort of crazy modern riff on it. You can really see this in the costume design. The designer Sandy Powell has studied sources, portraits like this one of Queen Anne herself by Godfrey Neller, but she's just used what Anne's wearing as a starting point. Why have I brought you into a cupboard? Well, it's because this archway here is the last surviving bit of a really important room at Kensington Palace, the chapel. And in the film, you'll see the chapel where Abigail Masham gets married. Who's Abigail? Well, she's one of the two favourites in the film who are vying for power. Abigail is the new kid on the block. She starts work as a servant. She works her way up. She becomes the queen's lover. And it's Abigail's goal to bring about the downfall of the formidable and dangerous Sarah, Duchess of Marlborough. In 1710, Queen Anne and her favourite Sarah had their final terrible quarrel in the Queen's rooms at the end there. And in her memoirs, Sarah tells us that she came along this gallery and she sat down to wipe her eyes so that the servants wouldn't see her crying on the way out. Four years later, Queen Anne herself died here at Kensington Palace of an apoplexy, which means a stroke. By this point, she was so enormously obese that it took 14 men to carry her coffin. It was a sad end to a sad life. The costumes from the film The Favourite are on display at Kensington Palace in a special exhibition at the moment. Come and see us soon. <laughs>